Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 42 of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, I definitely put in a lot of work in terms of building up my limit breaks right now. Like, for example, I got Cloud's uh, Finishing Touch level 3 limit break. It blows away all opponents, and to be honest, I probably wouldn't use it unless I was in an emergency, because Meteor Rain will actually have a chance of killing them. Sid got his second level 1 limit break, which is Dynamite, that attacks everyone. And Barrett no change whatsoever, because he hasn't got enough kills yet. But in any case, it looks like we're doing really well, in terms of leveling up our materia as well. So I think we'll be in a very good position to get far. I don't know how far we're going to get, but we're certainly going to try. So I was told that Dio had the keystone, that means we have to go to the gold saucer. In other words, you go this way. I decided to like just cut ahead and get to this point, rather than you guys have to see it. It just would have been annoying. Also, you cannot fight in the sand because if you don't have the buggy, you're going to get trapped. I think the buggy was still around Nibbleheim, or Nibbleheim, I believe. I mean, I can go get it if I have to have the buggy. Oh, it's been a while since we were here. Blah, blah, blah! You know what, I will purchase a lifetime pass because we did get a lot of money from, like, grinding our limit breaks. If you want to know where I did it, I did it on the valley area of Wutai, and I had everybody in fury mode. Trust me, when those Thunderbirds cast lightning on you, it makes things so much faster. There, as long as I have this gold ticket, I can go in without having to pay every time. She already told me this stuff, so I'm not worried so much. Alright, so let's go look for Dio. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to the Ghost Square. Why? Because after doing a bit of practice, I realized that this is where I missed a uh, Turtle Calendar. Or Turtle Paradise Calendar. I'm not interested in you. Turtle's Paradise number 3. Forget the bad times with a nice drink. Only thing missing in the Gold Saucer is a pub with good drinks and a great atmosphere. Stop in the Turtle's Paradise. Living in the Turtle's Paradise? I don't know. Now, where would I like to go? I think Dio was around here last we saw him. I heard this is the curator's favorite attraction. He even has his collection displayed in the arena. Okay, I have a bad feeling that something's about to happen. Because when I practice this, Cloud actually had to, like, do some battles by himself. So, what do I have on him? Uh... I don't think he needs time manipulate. I don't think he needs any all materia. So here's what I'm thinking. Time, restore, take off the all, the added effect. I don't think he needs any enemy spells. I don't think Odin's gonna be that much of a help either. Put him in long range. So I'm thinking we'll take put heal on him. So we'll give something else to Sid. I will give you Shiva, I suppose. A counterattack would be pretty good too. Throw this on for no reason. HP plus and MP plus, I'll take off Barret. And give them to Cloud. Because if he's going to be fighting battles in the arena, I'd rather him at his absolute strongest. I already got enemy skill on him. Alright. Is this the one with Metro Magic? No, it's not. I really need to arrange these better. Probably this one. Yep, that's the one with all of them. Good. Do I have sense? I'll probably throw sense on. Maybe barrier, just in case. No, instead of barrier, why don't we, like, throw on something a little bit more physical? Actually, we'll do cover because it'll give him more vitality. I think 
we'll go with this for now. There, let's try it. I'll fool around with the other material later on. Crap! I still don't have enough points! Hmm, you're new here, aren't you? Then, you want an explanation of the battle arena? Uh, sure. You fight here and collect battle points. You can then exchange those points for prizes. The battle game, even though it's a game, you still use all your physical abilities. To participate, go to the front and pay your GPs. You can fight in up to 8 battles. The more you win, the more battle points you get. But if you lose, you lose all your points. So it's up to you whether or not to fight after each win. They also make it harder by giving out handicaps. They decide what handicaps there will be, and you won't know what you're up, up against until the battle. Oh yeah, once you leave the battle arena, all your battle points will become useless, so watch it. Oh, one more thing. The maximum points you can get is 65,000. No more. So if you get that many, you should exchange them for something. Okay. I have zero battle points. Thank you for reminding me. Two staff members and some Shinra shoulders... Shoulders? Shinra soldiers were shot. The soldiers died instantly, but the staff survived. Well, good for them. Dine! Did you really just have to bow down for that? There's Dio's showroom. It's the Keystone! Oh god, put on some pants! And some socks! Hey, hey, hey Long time no see, boy! Hmm, you like that, huh? Can you let me borrow this? Hehehe! <laughs> Sorry, but it's not for rent. Hmm... Since you've been good to me in the past, I can let you have it on one condition. One condition? <laughs> Entertain me. What do I gotta do? Hoo boy! <laughs> Nothing all that difficult. This is the battle arena. Show me your fighting skills. Just you, boy. I'm expecting a good fight. Okay, so now we gotta compete in the battle arena. Now, I remember when I first played Final Fantasy VII, it was actually the uh, demo version that came with Eidos, Eidos games. I should let's change what's on the back row. That's better. Because I got long range anyway. And that the only thing you could play in Final Fantasy VII on that demo tape, or that demo CD, was the, uh, the Battle Square. And it was always the exact same battles every time. And I can never make it past Battle 4 or 5 because of all the handicaps. So that's why this music here is kind of iconic to me. Because that was the first music I heard every time. Well, yeah, of course I'll keep going. Okay, I went down 5 levels. That may not be such a big deal. I should probably use haste. That way it'll speed up my performance in battle. I mean, these guys are not doing too much to me, aside from, like, maybe the occasional Thunder Kiss. Thunder Kiss just sounds like the name of, like, a hair metal song. Well, these guys are gonna be toast. Make no mistake about it. See, this is why I put counter-attack on. Because even if they hit me, it's just gonna bring them closer to their demise, too. Yes! No handicap! Now, the only thing that makes it bad is that you probably won't get any, uh... points for it. Because remember, the greater your handicap, the better you will do, in terms of getting battle points. So, you, you, you should go... Hope that you get a handicap, but one that's not going to be too bad. There. Thank God I never killed that guy while I was still a frog. Summon material is broken. Well, okay, I don't have to worry so much. Oh God, these guys are going to be the bane of my existence. Hopefully trying works. No, wait, I use beta. Why do I always get that mixed up? 
Okay, maybe I don't feel so bad anymore. Half speed? Oh, it's a good thing I used haste. Oh, I'm poisoned. This is not something I was hoping for. Death sentence! Wait, it, okay, it did work. I was worried about that. That was probably the worst possible outcome, because I think it carries over. Half HP? Oh, frig. Okay, Death Sentence is gone. Hopefully these guys will be gone, too. I think Beta actually will be good against them. And if I run low, I got Magic Hammer, too. You know, unless my magic materials gets broken, too. Which can't happen. I gotta get rid of this poison. Okay, we should be in a good position to win here. And actually get a lot of battles in. Let me steal some MP. Because I think this guy is pretty close to his demise. He only had 56 MP on him anyway, so that's okay. Wait, why am I missing? Is it because I got blindness on? Let me get rid of that. Okay, that's better. Well, this guy doesn't have much of a, ch much of a chance. I don't know if regen will carry over, so I was thinking about that, and I was like, nah, forget it. I'll just kick this guy's ass normally. There we go. 272 battle points. Weapon is broken! Oh, no. Does that mean I can't use physical attacks? Or maybe I, I can, but they'll be a lot weaker. All right, this time I'm gonna use Trine. And actually select it this time. Didn't do enough to kill these guys, but... Yeah, it's getting there. Okay, so my damage is halved. It doesn't mean I can't physically attack at all. That's still pretty bad. I mean, Cloud is a pretty good swordsman. Uh oh. YOLO, we'll keep going. Oh, now my magic materia is broken! Wait, I still got my support materia. That's good enough. I can still use this. That's how you like Aqua Lung. The only way I can heal is through White Wind. Wait, I still have items, too. Yeah, it's been a while since we fought this guy. It was back at the mansion, wasn't it? Maybe I'll be lucky and level 4 suicide will work. It probably won't. It didn't work. Okay. Well, I tried. What would be good against him? Try... Beta? Hopefully he's got a lot of magic on him too, so I can get some back. It's just not doing a lot to him. Okay, he, he's gone off the chain now. Oh, he just went back on, alright. Good. No, he got backed off again. Oh, what would be good against him? Well, I need my MP back. But he may not even have any. He didn't have any. Oh, 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 oh. Let me see how you like this. Oh, 
Well, I put him to sleep, so that's, that's one thing. So I can practically just show no mercy to him. Like, he can't wake up from this. Can I use Death Sense? Will that actually work? I don't know if it actually worked. So I'm probably just gonna be like, it, it didn't work. get ourselves some good rewards if we won all eight battles. But it's looking a little more grim that that's even gonna happen. So I think this might be the battle where we tap out. Because we're slowly losing a lot. trying to be more practical to use in the grand scheme of things. Even though it's still not a lot. Like, how far away am I from beating this guy? He's still got over 1,200 HP. He's weak against gravity, but I don't have any gravity spells. Oh, did he wake up? Oh, we got back up. All right. Guess we have to do things the old-fashioned way. Just shoot him with missiles. <laughs> do I have any offensive items that I can afford to use? Um, let's use a grenade, just for old times' sake. It didn't do much. Okay. Yeah, we lost so many good abilities, it's, there's really no point in continuing on this fight. I'm gonna fire bail. Wow, big explosions that Michael Bay be proud of, and that only did 260 damage. Explain that to me. I was hoping he would have grabbed the spiky end and just hurt himself. Okay, that missed. Come on, how do you miss a guy that's prone? Look, he fell again. He's defenseless. Okay, given the damage, I should probably just keep using physical attacks. Even though I only... I have a broken weapon. Well, I'll break this guy's spirit eventually. Oh good, I had a counter there. Wait, was that the 8th battle? I lost count! I actually won them all! <laughs> well done, young man. And as I promised, you can take it. Oh, and I'll give you this too. You got the keystone, you also got a protect vest, and a choco feather. We shall meet again. <laughs> You're weird. Okay, so what can I do with those battle points? Um, I'm not really looking to register for battle. I already had like a couple free battles. Welcome, you currently have zero battle points. Oh, I think I have to get them right now. So apparently they become invalid once you leave the battle arena. No, I don't want to register for battle. Did I not get any battle points for this? Did this not count towards uh, battle points? Or maybe it's only like uh, battles that you choose to have. Because that could have given me points for free. And I'm like, oh, freak. I was having so much fun, too. Okay, so I guess we'll just leave now. Where's... Where's the square? Oh, the station. We want to go to the station. 
All right, well, we're done. We got the keystone, so I guess we will just get out of here. Yay. Excuse me, sir. I'm sorry. The tram is out of order right now. Oh, how convenient. So? I'm really sorry. I'm afraid you won't be able to leave until it's fully prepared. Okay, Tith, what are you doing? What's wrong? Too bad. It happened so... Cloud, you didn't really explain anything. You just stared at him. I know. Let's stay at the hotel. They know me here. I'll go talk to them. Um, okay. I will let you know once the repairs are completed. Huh, <laughs> Sid's all comfy. We don't usually get the chance to be together like this, huh? Cloud, how about it? Can you tell me what's happened so far? I don't really know what's going on because I wasn't here in the beginning. Yeah! I'm for that. Good idea. I've been here since the beginning, and I still don't know what the hell's going on either. Cloud, the hell's going on? Come on, tell us. All right, I'll give it a shot. Phew. We are going after Sephiroth. Sephiroth must be in search of the Promised Land. The Promised Land? A land full of Mako energy. Or at least that's what the Shinra believe. I don't know if it actually exists. The Setras will return to the Promised Land. A land that promises boundless happiness. Setra? That's some kind of disease. Wow, Barrett, that's rude. That's what the ancients call themselves. Hey, didn't you listen to the elders at Cosmo Canyon? You don't know where the promised land of the ancients is. You search and travel until you feel it. Then you just know that you found it. Eris, can you feel it too? I think so. So, Sephiroth is traveling the world because he's searching for the promised land. Is that it? He's searching for that. And one other thing. The Black Materia? I heard from Dio that a man in a black cape was looking for the Black Materia. I've never heard of Black Materia. How many men with black capes and number tattoos are there? You know, of course, my tattoo is number 13. How did you get that tattoo? Hojo put it on me. The rest are just war scars, but the number was done by Hojo. So there are at least 13? You know, I think Hojo did something to those men in the black capes. But I don't know what it has to do with Sephiroth, though. That's why I think we should just go after Sephiroth himself. Yeah, me too. It's all just too damn confusing. And... I'm sorry, forget it. I think I'm tired. I'm going to bed now. What was that, all of a sudden? What? That's it? I'm going to bed. Is that all? How about the black materia? You wouldn't understand even if I told you. Now all we gotta do is take action. We're starting tomorrow. Yeah, if they got it fixed by then. Cloud. I'm number 13. Am I gonna go mad too? I don't know what Hojo did to you, but you've been alright so far, right? But... Be strong. But I... Stop it, Red 13! Be strong! Tifa? You're not the only one who's worried. I don't know what's going on, but we're in a bad situation. Hey, Sid. Let's go back to our rooms. <laughs> He's already asleep. I think Vincent felt like a third wheel there. 
Yeah, that's pretty relaxing. I have an Iron Maiden in our room. Cloud. What's wrong? I thought about what I was going to say, but it's kind of embarrassing. Hey, Cloud. Why don't the two of us sneak out of here and spend some time together? Come on, let's go! Hey! Okay. Tonight's enchantment night! All the attractions are free! How about it, you two? There's going to be an entertaining show in Event Square! Come on, let's go! Okay. Oh, I have no control of us. Congratulations! You are our 100th couple today! You two will play the leads in tonight's show! What? Oh, now, it's not hard. Just play it however you want to, and the rest of the cast will cover it up for you. Oh, yeah, this cannot go wrong at all. Come this way! Hey! Sounds like fun! Come on, Cloud! Let's give it a try! It's like, fine. Long, long ago, an evil shadow appeared over the peaceful kingdom of Galdia. Princess Rosa was kidnapped by the evil Dragon King, Valvados. Huh, Rosa from Final Fantasy IV? What will become of her? Just then, the legendary hero, Alfred, appears. What was his last name? Osas? Get it? Alfred Osas? <laughs> oh, that was lame. Oh! You must be the legendary hero, Alfred! No. Hey! It's your line! Yeah, you! Ahem! Oh, you must be the legendary hero, Alfred! By my soul! Please! Please save Princess Rosa as I bob my head like I'm about to get a Mortal Kombat fatality. Now, please talk to the king! What king does that? Oh, legendary hero Alfred, you have come to save my beloved Rosa! Oh, I'm getting a Mortal Kombat fatality too! On the peak of a dangerous mountain dwells the evil Dragon King Valvados who's kidnapped Princess Rosa. But, you can't beat the evil Dragon King now. Talk to one who can help you. Look, it, if you're gonna be the one that has to like, do all this stuff, then you guys are doomed. I'll talk to the wizard. I am the great wizard, Foreman. What do you wish to know? Prince's measurements. Oh, what is going to happen next? Oh, legendary hero, look! Your measurements are all of them. What ho! You dare ignore the evil Dragon King? Gah! I am the evil Dragon King, Valvados. I have not harmed the princess. I have been expecting you. Please help me, legendary hero! How was that? Who is your enemy? Say it! Um... That knight over there. Come now! Come on! No more! Cloud! Be serious! You really don't want to be in the play that much, do you? Now I'm mad! Ow! Wow! Guy, You dare ignore me? Shut up! Oh my! What an unusually strong princess! And so the new legendary hero Rosa and our story ends happily ever after. Hmm, that was funny. Hey, let's go on the gondola next. I'm sure it wasn't funny for that dude in the dragon costume that you just kicked. Oh, we already did the gondola before as Rosa. We get two tickets. Okay, at least it was free. Yep, 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 yep. 
Whoa, how pretty! Yep. Yeah. Uh. Nope. Nope. I not like this. Even though it's gonna do, like, damage to my obliques. <laughs> Look, Cloud! Uh, uh, oh, yeah. uh, oh, God, I shouldn't have had that burrito. Uh, uh. Oh, Cloud! Isn't this beautiful? Were there that many fireworks when me and Eris did this? I don't think so. It's really pretty, isn't it? Oh, I'm gonna just go ahead and say it. What? Eris will be able to just come out and say it, probably. Why are you worried about Eris so much? Just do your own thing. Cloud? Sometimes being old friends is hard. I mean, timing is everything. Yeah. Cloud? I... Ellipsis, ellipsis. I'm guessing she couldn't even say it at all. Cloud, I really had fun tonight. By the way, what did you want to say a minute ago? N nothing. Nothing. Oh, look at the time. We should be getting back. You can tell they're gonna be awkward because of all the space between each other. Hey, uh, Kate Sith, what are you doing? That's Kate Sith. He's acting strange. Stranger than usual. <coughs> Is that the keystone? Hey, Kate Sith. Where are you going? Oh, you went to the speed square now. Now you're on to the wonder square. Like... Dude, make up your mind where you're gonna go! I'm on to you. Where do you go? To the Chocobo Square? I lost sight. Okay. No, no, don't go back in there! He went inside the building! Man, how'd you get far up those stairs so fast? Nope, 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 you're not getting away! Come here! Come here, you! Oh, he's too fast. Oh, there's a chopper. Hey, over here, it's the keystone. Well done. Hey! Wait, wait a second. I won't run or hide. You, you ran many times already. Yes, I was a spy. I was hired by the Shinra. Don't mess with us. I couldn't help it. How about we go on like nothing ever happened? No way, Cat. You got a lot of guts acting like a friend but being a spy. Then, what are you gonna do? Kill me? You'd just be wasting your time if you tried. This body's just a toy anyway. My real body's at Shinra headquarters in Midgar. I'm controlling this toy cat from there. So you're from Shinra. Who are you? Whoa, I can't tell you my name. We're not getting anywhere. See, I told you. Talking won't do any good. So can we just continue our journey? You think I'm joking? Alright. Yes, I am a Shinra employee. But we're not entirely enemies. Something bothers me. I think it's your way of life. You don't get paid. You don't get praised. Yet, you still risk your lives and continue on your journey. Seeing that makes me... Just makes me think about my life. I don't think I'd feel too good if things ended the way they are now. You're lying again. He'll never tell the truth. Once a spy, always a spy. We can't go on with something like that. Come on, get real. Just as I thought, talking won't make a bit of difference. 
but I prepared something in case this happened. Why don't you listen to this? Papa! Tifa! Marlene? Hey, it's Tifa! Tifa! Help! I'm... So, you have to do as I say. You're the lowest. I didn't want to do this. Using dirty tricks and taking hostages. But this is how it is. No compromises. So why don't we go on as we did? That's a bit asshole of you. Tomorrow is the Temple of the Ancients, right? I know where it is, so I'll tell you later. Of course, we'll get there after the Shinra. But you'll have to deal with that. Well, we're stuck. We'll have to do as he says. Marlene! Oh, I gotta control my character again. Oh, apparently that was a liquor cabinet. Got ourselves a free elixir, so I'm happy with that. What took what took you so long, Cloud? Oh yeah, about the Temple of the Ancients. I think if we take the tiny Bronco east towards the sea, we should be able to find it. Well then, shall we get going? Who's gonna go? I wanna go. I'm going for sure. Okay, so you have to take Eris with you. Uh, who will be the other party member? I think we'll take Sid with us. Then see you later! Yeah, because, you know, three of us are going by ourselves. Okay, so... Apparently, I did miss up on some uh, gold points here. I'm trying to... Is this where the game room is? I think that's where the game room is. Yeah, it is. You know that game with Mog? But apparently I was supposed to talk to someone near the game in order to get some points. Hmm, I'm impressed. Thanks for the show. Here, take this. Wow, he still remembered after all this time? Okay. So that's some 30 battle points that I did. Or 30 gold points. I think before I go to the Temple of the Ancients, I might just try to grind up some points. The Battle Square is actually a good place to get them, though. I will admit. Uh, station, right? And then since we got a lifetime pass, I don't have to worry about, like, having to do this... Having to pay up so much all the time. Well, it looks like the thing is fixed. So we can leave now, that's good. Okay, so Kate said said that the uh, the Temple of the Ancients is like east towards the sea. That doesn't seem very specific, so I guess we'll have to do a bit of exploring. Like we'd have to go somewhere we've never been. Also, how the hell are we gonna get there if they got the keystone? Do we just wait for them to open it first and then just go in from behind? As soon as I said that, I up. So I guess we have to like get behind Sang and them. Oh, well, we'll think of something in the next episode for how we're going to get in. Oh, uh, sorry about that. I was just about to, like, close the episode, and my finger slipped on the end record button already. So, now I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everyone.